In today's video tutorial, we are going to learn about spinner. In a simple way, spinner means drop down, as you can see here. There are three steps to create a spinner. First, the design, then creating a string array to populate, then write some code in Java. So let's start our video. In the XML file, I am deleting the default text view and then select the design view, select containers, then spinner. Drag it to a position you need. You can make some changes in the design to make your app more attractive. I am giving an ID as spinner underscore animals as I am giving list of animals. Here I am clicking on this infer constraints to fill this view with missing constraints. Now in risk folder select strings.xml and create string array named animals. Give as many items as you need. Now in the Java class define spinner and set its find view by id. That is r dot id dot spinner underscore animals. Then create an array adapter. An array adapter will return a view for each object in a collection of data objects you provide. In our case, it will create a view for each animals in the string array. So array adapter char sequence adapter equals array adapter dot create from resource. This comma the context, then give array resource ID r dot array dot animals. Now layout resource of the single item, which we will use predefined one, Android dot r dot layout dot simple spinner item. Now need to set drop down view resource. That is adapter dot set drop down view resource. In bracket android dot r dot layout dot simple spinner drop down item. Close the bracket and semicolon. Now set this adapter to our spinner that is spinner animals dot set adapter in bracket adapter and a semicolon. Now I am going to make an own item selected listener that is whenever you click on an item. In spinner, a toss will appear with the same text. You can perform other operations in this area according to your project's requirement. Spinner animals dot set on item selected listener in bracket this and a semicolon. This red line will go when we implement adapter view dot on item selected listener in main activity. Now you can see a red line in main activity. Click on Alt Enter so that we can implement two methods on item selected and on nothing selected. In on item selected, first we need to fetch the selected text or we can say string at selected position. For that, string selected animal equals parent dot get item position in bracket position dot to string. Parent and position is passed as arguments. Now tossed dot make text in bracket this comma selected animal comma tossed dot length short and close the bracket and a dot show and a semicolon. Now run your application and you can see the result like this. When you selected tiger Tiger is shown as tossed. You can see which animal is selected from drop down in the tossed. If this video was helpful for you, please do subscribe to my channel. Please let me know your feedbacks in the comment section. And also write down what videos you need in this channel. We'll come up with the next video. Thanks for watching.